Hey guys, welcome back to CEBOX Tutorial Channel and this is our situation number 35 from Seaboard Exam May 2018 for Structural Engineering and Construction. A W470mm by 105kg per meter beam of 12mm web thickness is spliced near the support using 15mm thick connector plate welded to part B and bolted using 20 millimeter diameter A325 bolts to point A. So these are the dimensions. Ayan, yung S1 to S5. So ilagay na natin. Ang S, uh, S2 natin is 40 millimeters. S5 natin is 40 millimeters. S4 is 100. Ayan. Then S1, 40. 40. And ang ating S3 ay TG80 millimeters. The steel strength and allowable stresses are as follow. FY is equivalent to 248 megapascal. Volt shear stress FB is equivalent to 120 megapascal. So the load P acts at in is ayan, meron tayong eccentricity E na 180 millimeters from the centroid of the bolt group or uh, yes, from the uh, bolt connection. Ayan. So, ang ating E ay 180 millimeters. So, this uh, topic kasi is under sa eccentric connection. So, if you say eccentric connection, yung ating load is merong eccentricity with respect to the centroids. And ito centroids, ayan. From the centroids of the connection. Meron rito yung tinatawag na concentric connection. Pag sinabi natin concentric, nakakoncentrate yung ating load P. Okay, dun sa mismong centroid ng ating connection. So, sa maling seta, wala siyang eccentricity E. Okay? So, actually, ito yung topic na gusto na talaga namin maisama sa aming playlist ng steel design. But unfortunately, wala pa kaming uh, oras na nahanap or nakukuha para magawa itong topic na to. Pero napaka-importante kasi niya kasi ito yung madalas na lumalabas sa board exam. Itong concentric and Ano, eccentric connections. But anyway, ito, nakapag-ready naman kami ng problem para sa uh, preparation ninyo sa board exam. So, isolve na natin siya. So, calculate the shear load kilonewton on the critical bolt at section A, ito, of the splice if P is equivalent to 200 kilonewton. So, shear load lang naman ang tinatanong dito. So, kung hindi ka aware kung ano ang shear load, medyo mahihirapan tayo dyan. But, if we say shear load, ito yung load na i -re receive ng ating connection. Okay? At ang tanong, ano yung force na mag-create ng shearing dun sa ating connection? Yun yung ating force P. Okay? So, from the force P, magkakaroon tayo ng mga shear, uh, yes, shear forces dito sa mga uh, bolts natin. Okay? So, ilan ba to? Ayan. Yan yung mga shear forces natin. Ako kasi sanay ako kapag shear forces, isang ano lang, uh, isa lang yung, huwag kalahating arrow lang siya. Ayan. So, ito yung mga shear forces natin. Ayan. Ayan. Shear B. So, ilan ba yan? So, by summation of forces vertical kasi, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 forces. Ayan. 8 shear forces is equivalent to force P. Therefore, ang ating shear load is equivalent to P over 8. At ang ating force P is 200. Then, divided by 8. So, ang sagot ay 25 kilonewton. O, di ba? Napakasimple lang niya. Pero, kung hindi, na, kung hindi tayo aware kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng shear load or shear forces, magkakamali tayo. Di ba? So, number 2. Calculate the torsional load. Ayan. In kilonewton, on the critical load, Bolt section, ah, sorry, critical bolt section A, if P is equivalent to 200 kN. Actually, itong force ito is possible din na maging inclined. Ayan. If inclined kasi yung ating force, ibig sabihin, okay, meron siyang effect na vertical and horizontal. Kaya, yung marireceive na shear forces ng ating, ano, ng ating connection is dalawa rin. Meron tayong horizontal shear force and meron rin tayong vertical Shear force. Okay? Kaya nagkataon lang dito na vertical silang lahat kasi yung ating P is vertical. Ngayon, 
since meron tayong eccentricity, magkakaroon ng moment effect or torsional effect yung ating connection. Okay? So, ngayon, ang ating P is iikot ng clockwise. Ayan. So, lakayan na lang natin. Ayan. So, ito yung ano, moment or torsional uh, yes, uh, torsion. Okay? Due to P. Which is equivalent to P multiplied by E. So, pwede na rin naman natin isolve to yung ating moment M or torsion. torsion. Ang P natin ay 200 kN. Ang E natin ay 180 Then, divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilonewton meter. So, this is 36 kilonewton meter. Ngayon, yung ating ano kasi, uh, connection, meron siyang reaction para i-resist yung ating moment or torsion. Okay? Or torque. So, kung ang rotation ng ating P with respect to the centroids of the connection is clockwise, Dapat yung mga reaction ng forces natin sa connection is counterclockwise. Okay? So, mula rito sa taas, ah yes, kailangan pala nilalagyan rin natin ito ng number, no? So, number 1, number, bolt 1, bolt 2, bolt 3, bolt 4, bolt 5, bolt 6, bolt 7, bolt 8. So, nilalagyan kasi natin siya ng, ano, ng number para malaman kasi natin yung uh, critical bolt. But anyway, sa number, ano pa yun eh, number 3. Eh, so, tignan mo natin dito. Uh, actually, ayan, yes, tama. Okay, so, tignan natin kung paano yung magiging reaction ng mga forces natin para i-resist yung ating moment M. So, kung clockwise, so dapat dito sa bolt 2, ang horizontal force niya is... Okay, to the left. Para mag-counter, ah, sorry. Clockwise din pa. Ah, tama, counter-clockwise. Okay? So, tawagin natin to as ano, um, Rx. Ayan. Tapos, yun namang vertical force niya is dapat upward. So, tawagin natin to as Ry. Kasi, with respect to the centroids, ang ikot ng Ry natin is counter-clockwise. Ayan. Dito na naman sa ating bolt 1, dapat downward. So, ang itong RY. Then, ang kanyang horizontal is to the left. Para umikot ng uh, umikot ng counterclockwise. Okay? So, I think nakuha nyo naman yung idea. So, bilisan na lang natin yung paglalagay ng mga forces. So, dito, downward. Ito, upward. Ito, to the left. Ito, to the left. Then, dito naman, upward. Ito, upward. Then, dito, to the right. Ayan, ito to the right, to the right, to the right. Okay, ganun yung idea niya. Okay? So, meron tayong equation para sa, ah yes, ang tinutuoy kasi dito na torsional load is yung, ano, resultant R. Ayan, so resultant R is manggagaling sa Ry and Rx. So, alam naman natin ang equation ng resultant. Basic Pythagorean theorem lang yan, hindi ba? So, ang ating R is equivalent to square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared. So, hypotenuse lang yan. Okay? So, ang equation naman ng ating Rx is equivalent to M multiplied by Y over summation of B squared. And yung ating namang Ry is equivalent to M multiplied by X over summation of B squared. So, ang tanong, ano yung D? So, ito yung D na to is the distance of the bolts with respect to the centroid. So, ito, kumare sa bolt 2, Ito yung ating D. Ayan. So, as you can see here, yung ating D is the diagonal. Di ba? So, yung ating bolt 2 is meron kasing distance na Y with respect to the centroid. So, ito yung kanyang Y. And meron din siyang distance na X with respect to centroid. So, sa madaling salita, yung D na yan is hypotenuse also. So, this is equivalent to, or pwede natin sabihin na, Uh, Pythagorean theorem, di ba? So, d squared is equivalent to x squared plus y squared. Kaya, yung ating summation of d squared is equivalent to summation of all x squared plus y squared. Okay? Kaya, huwag kayo magkataka na yung ating ano, uh, equation sa summation of d squared is ganyan. 
Okay? So, kunin natin lahat ng x and y. So, summation of d squared is equivalent to lahat ng x. Okay? So, if this is 100, tapos nasa gitna yung centroid, so, 50 ang x ng 2. Yan. So, 50 squared. Then, ilan yung 50? 50 sa 1, 50 rin sa 2. Okay? So, sa lahat ng volts, 50, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, 50 squared multiplied by 8. So, for y, para sa ating volt 2, ang kanyang y is ito. Yan. Which is equivalent to 80 plus, okay, ito. Ito yung ating centroids, no? So, kalahati ng 80. So, that is 40. So, 80 plus 40 is 120. So, 120 squared. So, ilan yun? Ilan lahat ang may 120? Volt 1, volt 2, saka volt 7 and volt 8. So, apat. Then, yung y naman ng volt 3, 4, 5, and 6 is kalahati ng 80, no? So, that is 40. So, 40 squared multiplied by 4. So, ito yung ating summation of d squared. So, 84,000 millimeter squared. So, ngayon, kailangan nating tukuyin kung ano yung y and x. Pero, dapat, dun sa critical volt. So, syempre, makakuha tayo ng critical volt kapag mataas yung y and x. Diba? Sa x, wala problema eh. pare parehas naman sila na 50. Pero sa y, dalawa lang naman ng y natin, diba? 40 and 120. So, therefore, ang ating y is yung pinakamalaki. So, 120 millimeters. And then, yung ating x is equivalent to Okay, um, 40 millimeters. Ah, sorry, sorry. 50 pala. 50 millimeters. Ayan. So, makukuha na natin yung ating Rx and Ry. So, moment is 36. So, gawin natin siyang Newton. Um, hindi. Gawin na lang natin siyang ano, uh, 36,000 para maging millimeters tong, ano meter. So, 36 times 10 raised to 3. Then, multiplied by x, by y. Ang y natin is 120. Then, over summation of d squared, 84,000. So, 51.43. Or, 51.429. Kilo, newton. And then, sa so y, papatan lang natin to. So, this is equivalent to 50 millimeters. So, 21.429. Kilo newton. So, masasob na natin ngayon yung ating resultant R. So, square root of 51.429 squared plus 21.429 squared. So, 55.715. So, ito yung inahanap na torsional load. Now, for number 3, we will calculate the total critical load. So, anong ibig sabihin ng total critical load? This is the uh, effects, okay, of the force P in terms of shear. Ayan, yung mga shear natin. And in terms of moment, okay? Kaya, yung ating, ano, uh, tawagin natin siya as RT. Ayan. So, RT or res uh, total resultant is equivalent to square root of Summation of um, R vertical squared plus summation of R horizontal squared. So, pagkasamasamahin lang natin lahat ng vertical and lahat ng horizontal. Pero, dapat dun sa critical volt. So, saan yun? Tingnan natin. Dito kasi sa ating volt 1, yung ating shear force ay pataas. Tapos, yung ating namang... Uh, Ry na due to torsion is pababa. So, magma-minus sila. Eh, syempre, ang gusto natin makuha is yung critical. So, dapat, uh, yung malaking, ano, malaking RT ang makukuha natin. Diba? So, dito naman, ayan, para sa dito, uh, upward and downward, wala kasi tayong problema sa horizontal kasi lahat naman sila, tigi-tigi sa lang. Diba? So, sa vertical lang tayo mag-check. So, ito, parehas na upward. Ito rin parehas na upward. Parehas na... Oh, natanggal ata dito. Wait lang. Ah, 
Okay, so ito downward to, downward, ayan. So ito yung mga critical ano natin, bolt. Okay, lagay natin dito. Critical bolts. Okay, yung bolt number 5. Bolt number 7. Kasi parehas na upward, no? Okay, ito, pa, uh, may upward and downward, so magma-minus. Ayan, yung ating bolt uh, 2 pala, sorry. 2 and bolt 4. So, yun yung apat na critical bolts natin. So, mamili lang tayo dyan. Parehas lang naman yung magiging value ng ating summation of RB. Okay? So, summation of RB is equivalent to mag a lamang yung V and RY. Ang V natin is 25. Then, ang RY natin is 21.429. So, 46.429. Kilo Newton. Then, yung ating summation of RH is is just equivalent to Rx. Diba? Kasi wala naman tayong ano, horizontal shear load or shear force. Kaya, makukuha na natin yung ating total critical load. So, ito na lang. Edit na lang natin itong nasa huli. So, this is equivalent to 46.429 squared. So, 69.286. Kilo Newton. Ayan. So, isa to sa mga ano rin eh, gusto kong nire-review noon sa review center kasi nag enjoy ako, di ba? It's just a ano, concept of reaction pero pinagsama lang kasi siya reaction in terms of shear and reaction due to uh, torsion. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Okay? So, yes, magkasabi rin po pala kami baka ito lang yung problem na may present namin under sa May 2018. Saka sa November 28, wala rin kami. Kasi wala po kaming kopya ng, ano, ng mga previous problem para sa uh, May 2018 and November 2018. So, kung gusto nyo pong mag-send sa amin, ang email po namin ay nakalagay sa aming uh, about page ng aming YouTube channel. Or, pwede nyo po kami i-message sa aming FB page para uh, mabigyan po kami ng problems na mayroong solution, of course. Sa May 2018 and November 2018. Ayan. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this video tutorial, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!